In this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of the brand new Google Home application that will allow you to control your Google Home and Chromecast devices, as well as add smart home speakers to your entire home and control your Google Assistant settings. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now the Google Home application is essentially the place that you're gonna to go to to control all the settings and everything that your Google Assistant has access to for your music or media. Here we have different music and things that we could cast from, different settings that you have access to, and then controlling your smart home for your Google devices. Now you do not need a Google Home device to actually use the Google Home application. You can simply just download the app on your Android or iOS device, and you can go in here and add your smart devices to control right from within the application with this new update, or control some of the other settings that your Google Assistant has access to. But of course, having a Google Home and a Chromecast device is going to give you the best experience possible. Let's head right into the Google Home application. Now, if yours looks any different than this, that's because your phone or device has not received the latest update. It should be rolling out very soon. Now, if you are adjusting any of these settings in here, I do recommend that you get on your Wi-Fi and connect to the same Wi-Fi network that your other Chromecast and Chromecast audio devices are set up on. It's just gonna give you the best experience to adjust different settings there. So first let's talk about down here in the bottom, the different sections that we have. So on the far left, we have the home section. This is how you can control all the devices in your home. Next we have discover. So this will show you current devices that you have available, different devices that you need to set up, maybe what's playing right now. And so you can go through and learn other things that you can use with your Google Assistant. Now in the middle here, we have full access to our Google Assistant. So we don't have to go into a different app. You can access your Google Assistant right here and ask it to do different things. Next, we have the browse category. So browse allows you to find different things to watch from different supported cast applications like YouTube, Netflix, Google Play Music. So anything you find in here is compatible to play onto a Google Home speaker or onto a Chromecast device. And then last here is the account settings. So we're gonna go in and show you all of those different things. So first let's start off here in the home tab. Now at the very top, here we are on home. So this is my home, but if you want to add a second home, you can actually do that. So here I could go into TWB, which is another home that I have set up. So maybe you have a large house or maybe you have a parent's house that you wanna control. You can actually set up a different home and you can actually have all of those devices in here. And so you can separate the different homes or different areas that you have if you wanna get more granular there. Next here at the top, we have our quick actions. So right now, if I want to turn off some lights, I just select the off. And then here it gives me the option to turn off all lights, turn off lights in a certain room. So if we select office, there it turned off most of the lights that I have set up here in the office. If we wanna turn them back on, I just tap on and then I would choose office. Now I really like this because it makes it super simple to quickly turn on and off all the lights in your house at once or just in a specific room. Now next you have play, so if I want to play some music on a specific device, here I can choose any of my Chromecast audio supported devices, or I could choose a group of devices. So if I select the office group, it's going to play music on that entire group that I have set up. And then in here you have the full controls to change the volume, you can also skip through the music, you can open Google Play Music to change the song, and that's the default music player I have or you can stop casting up here, you actually control every speaker that is within that group right there. So we're gonna go back, next we have the broadcast function. So broadcast allows you to send a message to all of your Google Homes at one time. You cannot specify which device, it will just send to all the Google Home devices that are set up within your Wi-Fi network. Now with the smart home controls, you can control these even when you are away from your Wi-Fi network, which is really nice. So here I do have the Nest thermostat set up, so I can open that up, I can see the hallway, I can see what temperature it's set at, I can actually tap on right here and change the heating and cooling mode as well. Here we have cameras, so there are a bunch of different supported cameras, but I have my front door, the Nest Hello set up, so I just tap on the icon and there it's going to play my front door right there. It makes it really nice so that I don't have to go into all these other different applications. They're all available right here. Now, if you wanna add a new device, you have a bunch of options here. You can set up a brand new device. Maybe you have a new Chromecast or a Google Home, you would set it up there. 
or if you wanna add new lights, maybe you set up your hue lights and you wanna come in here and add hue, you would select this, it's gonna show you all the accounts you have set up. So then I'd come down here and select Philips Hue, and then I could connect my account and it would add it to my smart home. You will need to set up the smart lights first in their own application before you add them into the Google Home application. The next option here is to invite a home member. So now you can actually add somebody else to control all of your home devices. So you just open this up, enter their email. It will then send them an email. You may need to check in the spam um, to see if it sent it there, but they just need to select a link and then they have access to all of your home control devices. So then they'll be able to change everything just like you would on your own phone. They can change on their phone, which is really cool. You could also have your, maybe your parents invite you so that you have access to their smart home control if you wanna help them get things set up. Next, we have the create speaker group. So here it will show you all the speakers that are available to add into a group. And so you would just select those, select next, and then you could create the group and name it right there. Here you have create a new home. So this is like I showed you before where I had the TWB home. This is where you would add that in and then you can go through the process there to add different homes. Then here you have manage services. So if I wanna adjust my default music service, I can come in here, I pay for YouTube premium so I get access to YouTube music here in the US. Here I have Google Play Music, Pandora, Spotify. It allows you to link and unlink your account if you pay for a premium account. Here you have some other services down here as well, or you can just choose no default. And if we go back, we have one more option here for videos and photos. So with Netflix, you can manage the Netflix profile it links to on your account. Here you have some other options, and then there you can enable Google Photos so that it has access to play your photos on the TV. And now going back to the main home page, we have some settings. So these are the actual settings of your home. So right now I can change my home nickname if I want. Here I can see the members of my family that have access to my home control. Here I can link my different media accounts that I've already shown you. And then here you have control of all your different rooms and devices. So I have quite a few, so I may need to clean this up a little bit. But now we can go in and this is where all of our smart home devices are. So we can see my different rooms and what devices are in there. So let's go down into the room that we are in. So right now we are in the office. And so in the office, it says that I have 17 lights connected to the office. I have a Chromecast Ultra, my Google Home Max, my Google Home Mini, and then another speaker as well. So a few things we can do if I wanna play music on my Chromecast Ultra, I would just select play music and then it would instantly start playing music over there and these will animate, which are pretty cool. So if I'm gonna play music right here on this speaker, I just select play music. It will then play music over here and here you can see a little animation indicating that that is playing music. I can quickly pause it right there. So now let's go and change the lights in this room. So if I tap on the lights, it will then pull up this menu where I can then adjust the brightness of the lights. So depending on if the lights support that, I would be able to adjust the brightness. And then here I can quickly turn them off and turn them on again very easily. And then right here, if I tap 17 lights, I can then see all of the lights that are connected to this room. So if I want to turn off, let's say the colored plus, that's this light right here. So you can see that that quickly turns it on and off. And then I also have brightness control. So if I wanna dim just that light, I can do it right there. So I really like this because you can quickly find out what light is what if you have too many lights like me, and then you can go through and remove them if you need to. So if you tap on that light, it gives you an option just for that light. I can select settings, and here I could change the name of the light. I could change the home that it is connected to, and then I can also change the room that it is in. And if I wanted to unlink the service, um, you could do that right there. So let's go all the way back. And there are a bunch of different types of lights and switches that you can have. Now I do recommend in a room that you make sure that you have any Chromecast devices, Google Home devices and lights set up within that room. Because if you say turn off the lights, it will now just change the lights in that room. So if I activate this Google Home device, and say turn off the lights, it will only turn off the three lights in the master bedroom. If I say turn on the lights, it will do the same. If I do that in the office, it will turn off the lights just in that specific room. So make sure you have your room set up like that. And that is about it for the home control. Let's go into the discover tab. So right now it's finding a new device that I need to set up. 
So I can select set up now and I can go through the process of setting up this new Google Home device and adding it to my Wi-Fi network so I can control it via voice and I can add it to my other Google Home audio supported groups. And now that device has been set up on my network. So in here, I can see different things that are playing. So on the office speaker here, I can stop or play the music right from there. Down here, I can see that we're playing some music upstairs. Here, I can see that I've connected a new home member, see what's playing on my Chromecast. If I want to adjust the little ambient settings right here, I can select settings and change the ambient mode on my Chromecast, adjust all the settings right there. And then it will give you some other recommendations and different applications that you could use as well. So then going over here to the Google Assistant, if I wanna ask anything, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Tomorrow in Linden, it'll be sunny with a high of 50 and a low of 28. So now you have this new updated Google Assistant where it's a little more visual. You're gonna see a lot more items like this pop up on screen, but you can use the Google Assistant just like normal. Now going back, the next option is the browse section. So like I said before, anything you see on here will allow you to cast it to any of your Google devices. So a Google Home, which is a cast supported device or a Chromecast where you can play media and music and all kinds of stuff. So if you find something in here, maybe you're looking for some music through Spotify, you can do that, Pandora, YouTube music, I could see kind of some popular items. And if I wanna play that, I would just open up that application. Here we're gonna open up YouTube Music. And then within this app, I then have the option to cast, and I can cast it to any of my speakers, my groups, or even a Chromecast. So here we're gonna cast this right to the office group. It connects and then it plays through all those speakers at one time. And last, we have the account settings. So previously on all my videos about adding things to your Google Home, I mentioned that you need to be connected to the right Google account. So this is where you adjust that. So if I tap over here, it's going to change into a different Google account, or you can select the drop down, and here you can choose the other one. You can actually add other accounts. So if you had multiple accounts, you can add them right into here. And then down here, we have a few options here. We can set up or add. It's gonna take us back to the add menu of new devices. Next, you have the eight local devices. So this is showing what is available on your network. Now, if you haven't ever linked your account down here, you would need to do that to some of these devices. So if you wanna play a song from your Google Home to your Chromecast by voice, you will need to go in and make sure that you set up your office speaker and link it to your account as well as the Chromecast device. So I would select link account, and then you would say, yes, I'm in, and there it has linked your account, but I think I've already linked all of these in the past. To adjust the settings of your smart display, Chromecast, or Google Home devices in the local devices menu, or anytime you see your devices on screen, just tap on the icon there, and here you have a few more options. So here I can see the latest ambient pictures that have been shown. Down here, I can personalize the ambient settings so I can adjust those there. And then up here in the top, we can select settings in the top right. And now I can go in and change the name, change the home that it belongs to, change the room that it's in, the Wi-Fi connection, guest mode, all of that information is right within this menu here. And then in the Google Home device here in the office speaker, we can adjust the volume so that you can see it moves right there on the Google speaker. Here in the top, we have the settings to change our bass and our treble. Right here in the full settings, I can adjust all the alarms and timers, change the name of the device, change the address, change the room that this is in, change the group. And then I also have the settings to pair my phone to it as a Bluetooth device or pair the Google Home to a Bluetooth speaker. Here I can set the default music speaker as well as the default TV. Do not disturb as well as the equalizer again right there. And then one other thing down here in the YouTube settings, I can actually change the restrict mode. So if I only want certain content to be played, I can come in here and turn that on so that if my kids activate the Google Home and play a video or something, when it plays to the Chromecast, it will only play appropriate content. And that is how you can individually control those devices. You can also go back to the Home tab. And when you see a device here, you can also tap on it and adjust the settings right there. 
Now down here, we have your general Google Assistant settings. So this is where you can adjust all of that. So next we have account preferences. So if we wanna change our email notifications, we can adjust that and some other settings there. Here we have my activity where this is actually what will show you what you previously said to your Google Assistant and the record of it. So here I said, what's the weather tomorrow? And then it played, what's the weather tomorrow? Sometimes it will say it didn't hear the voice command. So you can go through and learn about all the things that you use your Google Assistant for right there. And then down here, this is where you now have the mirror device option. So if you wanna mirror your phone to your Chromecast, you would go in here and do that and you can cast your audio or your video. I have other videos about how to do that. So that's where you can find that. Here you can find other offers available for your Chromecast and Google Home devices. So here it looks like I have a offer about YouTube Music for free for three months. And then down here I have the Google Store option so I can go and see what is available on Google Store if I wanna buy some other devices. Down here I have help, feedback, and some other app info. So there you go, that is essentially all the things that you can do within the new Google Home application. I'm really excited about the changes here, being able to quickly control your smart home devices. Now this little menu here will be added to the home view controls of the Google Home Hub that is coming out soon. So if you're looking for another way to control all of that right from your smart display, um, you'll wanna check that out. If you have any further questions about the new Google Home application, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see my quick overview of the new Google Home Hub, make sure you select the video over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.